I saw a post this morning, which is what prompted me to reach out. You guys, ha tell me a little bit about your business. People want to hear yeah. that uh, real people are innovating and changing on the fly. Can you just give me a 30 second overview on what your business model was two weeks ago? Yeah, so we're making it work. So Wilcox Wellness and Fitness is a personal training business um, located in Bangor, Maine. We also have a location in Brunswick. That's a franchise location. And we do private and group personal training. So clients come to our physical location to train with coaches. Um, most people sign on to train with us for either um, two, three, or four times a week. Um, and they're committed to three six or 12 month training programs let's go back in time four weeks ago five weeks ago right yeah. when the world was normal you are innovative folks you guys uh plan for the long term i think you told me that when you and mike decide to do something you want to go all in tell me what your plans were and then yeah what your plans are. For 2020, our plan was to go all in on franchising. Um, two years ago, we franchised our business, which means we worked with an attorney for a year. We wrote a franchise disclosure document. The next year, we were lucky enough to sign on our first franchisee in Brunswick, intensively supported that location last year for all of 2019. They're doing incredible. Our commitment in being all all in for them was that we were going to ensure that that location was 100% successful before we started pursuing additional franchisees. Okay. Um, so, so physical that was brick and looking, mortar expansions, right? Physical brick and mortar expansions via franchising. Okay. Um, so that was going great. Mike and I attended a franchising conference in, what month is it? February, early February, um, and we're really excited, you know, to develop the, the sales process to sell a new franchisee. Um, we have all the infrastructure once we sign a location to sign them up and train them and get them set up for success, but that whole front end funnel was something that we were going to work on for the entire mm -hmm. year. And your business is how um, old? Can you remind me? Of course, um, we opened Wilcox Wellness and Fitness in October of the year after we got married of 2012. Wow. You had plans, right? You had business plans, right. you had you yeah. had spreadsheets, you had meetings, you had documents. Oh, all, all of them, right? yeah. Right? <laughs> you had a long-term plan of something else too. You were telling me that you were you were exploring the virtual yeah. kind of yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. So, so before we franchised, Mike and I were, we joined the Top Gun program, which was an amazing program through Upstart Maine. Um, and we really joined that program. I can't remember now, three or four years ago to answer the question, what's next? Like our Bangor location was really successful. We streamlined all of our client processes. We really felt like we were making an impact and really for the two of us making an impact in our communities, serving people and helping people live better, more productive, more happy, more healthy lives is what it's all about for okay. us. Um, so we were looking for ways to scale that. So we joined the Top Gun program really to answer that question. Like how can we make more of an impact in this world with our business that we love so much? We looked at three different things. We looked at um, online training programs. <laughs> we looked at going wider in Bangor, so buying a bu bigger building, doing physical therapy, doing sports conditioning, doing acupuncture, doing mas massage, doing all of those things that you'd kind of go wide in, um, in terms of health and fitness. Um, and then we looked at uh, additional locations. Under additional locations, we looked at company-owned locations, we looked at franchising, and we looked at licensing. Insane. You're doing some research, you're doing some homework. Yes, yeah, right? absolutely. And um, the, the online track would have taken you on paper. Your plan was what? What was the? We thought online, to, to successfully pull off an online training business, it was going to take us 12 to 18 mm -hmm. months. Had you started down that road at all? We hadn't started any of it. Like when Mike and I do a project, we want to be able to go all in. So we really took a year looking at those three options that we just talked about and really kind of figuring out what it was we wanted to do. We decided okay. to go all in on franchising. That took us two years to get us to okay. this point. We kind of always were like, 
will want to do something in terms of online training, but we don't really know. So let's get human for a second. You yeah. Have got how many kids? Two kids. Two kids. Um, yes. You've got a business, right? Yes. You're, you're married, owners of a business, so you're, you're, yes. you're in it. This is your livelihood, right? How mm -hmm. scary was it when yeah. this hit, knowing that this is everything for you guys? This is your yeah. entire livelihood. Not only your plans, yeah. but your reality. How scary did that yeah. feel? I was incredibly scared. I, I mean, I, I think you've described me as the most positive person you met. Um, and like in the early days, I mean, we were in Costa Rica. We um, had planned on being Costa, in Costa Rica for another two weeks. We should still be there now. You took your whole family um, to Costa Rica. You were going to work from afar and test that out. For right. Me. Yeah. Um, so we were kind of planning, you know, like most businesses in the beginning, it was increasing sanitization protocols, then it was distancing, so canceling some of the classes so that there were space between training sessions, and then it was reducing session size, um, and updating our team and communicating with our clients and our community and doing all that from Costa Rica, um, I, and, and also being scared for the safety of our family in a third world country during a global pandemic. So um, I was very scared and it's been a lot of highs and a lot of lows and um, I just, I don't know, I, I, like, thank you for asking. Like <laughs> nobody asked me if I was scared and the answer is yeah, I was very, very scared. Yeah. And I mean, I still am. I can't say, I don't think we're through it. I mean, no, but here's we've the come up part. with a solution that we feel really good about. Oh, here's the good part. But... Right. That's right. So in the face of fear, which is real, thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Because I think yeah. we're all there, right? We're all there. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. You guys took an 18 month plan that you hadn't even started yet. Right. Fast tracked it to what? Yeah. So it took you two we... hours got so we were being told um, i was in touch with 72 hours yeah i was in touch with senator king's office it was just monday last week they were telling us shelter in place shelter in place stay in costa rica talked to them at 9 a.m on monday last week um then at 10 15 i got an email from their office that said get home as soon as you can. If you can't get home, we're not gonna be able to help you. And I know that they're still working with hundreds of Americans, mostly students that are stuck overseas right now, um, not able to get home. So we're making these plans for our business, like mostly the decision to, to um, first we made the decision to close our physical location in both Bangor and Brunswick. We made a real quick um, online training program from, from Costa Rica while we're trying to book our flights. So it's like me recording Mike in the living room of the rental with all of the furniture and all the suitcases and stuff pushed to the side. Like, this is your, these are your training sessions for this week. Like, Trust us, we know what we're doing. Yeah, don't, don't pay attention exactly. to the, the tossed furniture. Exactly. The kids running around. I mean, you sound like kids are wild. Um, so we did that. We booked an emergency flight for Thursday. Um, we to a different airport. It was like a five hour drive, an overnight layover. Like we got home. Um, and I'm so thankful to be home. We got home late Thursday, Friday afternoon. Um, my four, day, worked, four days ago, as we're recording that, that's four days ago, basically, yeah. right? Four, five days. My worked all day Saturday. We got like, we made our plans together, the two of us. We called our team together on Sunday to introduce them to this thing called Zoom that nobody had ever <laughs> used before. And we said, hey guys, you're online coaches now. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Let's fast forward, it's Wednesday as we're talking. Um, yeah. And um, you kicked off your online program when? Yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yes. How'd it go? We did. How'd it went go? awesome. We trained, I don't, Mike has the number. I think we trained over 80 clients in two locations yesterday via Zoom in their living room. Um, so 
I mean, Mike and I, you know, small business owners, like we're hustling, Mike's getting on the beginning of every Zoom, making sure everybody's there, everybody's comfortable, their camera's set up. I'm calling people in the background, like trying to FaceTime with them, looking at their computer to try to help them install the software, Um, trying to teach them how to like turn on their volume and their camera on their computer. So we couldn't even go to the gym. I'm really thankful for my brother-in-law and that you're awesome he was able to go to the gym for us with the trainers and like install the camera and the microphone to make it work and show them like what button to press while they're there while we zoomed in and we're really thankful so So you're having people pitch in so do you feel okay do you feel like this is gonna be okay I I mean, I have highs and lows, but being completely honest, I feel like we have an incredible team of dedicated fitness professionals that love people that are in it for the right reasons. And I know right now they are training their hearts out. Mm -hmm. We're coaches. We are a coaching business. We're not going to compete with a pre-recorded peloton training system that's not what it's about for us it's about coaches seeing people in real time supporting them encouraging them and pushing them to use proper technique and form so that they get just a little bit better every single time so you it sounds to me like your mission is still true how you're doing it is changing and you are evolving yes. quickly and you're learning on yes. the fly you're making mistakes like yes. we all do but right Fail fast, fail cheap, right? Like, let's dig in it. If it doesn't work, let's get out. But we we don't have time to sit around right. and have pity for ourselves. We've got to move forward. We weren't. Yeah. I mean, Mike and I knew when this thing hit, when we had to close our doors physically, that we were in for the fight of our lives yeah. to support our community, to keep our trainers employed in careers that they're so amazingly passionate about and so great at. Yeah. And really, the big point for us is still – we want to make an impact in the community and we know that fitness for the people that we serve and really for most people isn't about the physical aspect of it yeah. it's That's about cool. feeling good about themselves and having confidence and really i mean people right now in this time need that mental escape that mental clarity and i feel like our online streaming sessions have been able to bring a little bit of normalcy back to our clients. And as you and I are talking, we both know that there are businesses that don't have the opportunity of doing what you and Mike are doing, right? There are physical only locations shuttered and can't do what you're doing. So this is not, this is not a model that works for everybody. And so we reach out and feel for those folks and do what we can, but we we know that there are people that are handcuffed for situations well beyond their own control. Um, Mm -hmm. But the one thing that I wanted to share with you, watching from afar, and I know it's going to be inspiration for a lot of folks, is you took the core value of what your business and mission was and repackaged it and kept going in a different format. Um, And I think there's something there for a lot of folks is it's that cost versus value. I know I delivered it this way, but what was I really delivering? What was the real benefit of it? And how can I do it else, you know, somewhere else in some, some other way? Did you share with me today, I think you said, um, you've only been on for a couple of days, but you had actually somebody come back and re-sign up or actually join. I mean, you're yeah. getting new people, yeah. right? Yeah, we've had, we've had several clients that say, oh, you're doing online training now, I'd love to rejoin. And I think a lot of that that's is wanting to that. support us. There's another yeah, streaker. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I think a lot of that is wanting to support us during this difficult time, which we're incredibly incredibly grateful for yeah. Yeah. but also it i mean being able to train in your home or in your office or wherever you are in the world breaks down a lot of the barriers and i really embarrassed to say this but this morning i got to a five th- i mean i wake up early anyway but i'm never at the 5 30 a.m training session 
I, I did one while my daughter was watching Dora the Explorer on the couch this morning. It was uh, awesome. It is awesome. I was, yes, and I'm are. like, yeah. don't, don't talk to me. Like Mike's like the fitness guy. I'm the business nerd. And like, I'm all about it efficiency so i'm like how cool is this like i didn't have to go anywhere like i just turned my computer screen on and now like i'm done and now i'm drinking my water and so thank you first of all for taking some time and talking to me and i want to let's, let's awesome. boil it down to a few nuggets so if you were sharing your story in bullet points with other folks what would you encourage them what are you learning what are you sharing now that you didn't know before how are you going to condense this to help somebody else I think for us, it's all about serving our community and providing value to the clients that we love, like thinking about what our clients need in this time um, and coming up with our best, the best way to serve that. I mean, last week we put out three online training sessions we called them um you can see them on their our website they're free it's so willcoxwellnessfitness.com slash online training and so we got it done like we got the first thing done the day that we closed the doors from costa rica with a terrible internet connection yep. while we were booking emergency flights home and trying to figure out how to get get out of there right and but and we realized it that wasn't the right solution for people people don't need workouts right. you can do a workout anywhere you can google right. workout and you'll find 10 trillion of them what people need is connection they need community and they need to be coached by the trainers that they know and love and that they trust yep and need to be supported um, right so you're problem solving exactly. the mental and human side of it while delivering a physical experience so that's that's excellent. exactly yep. yeah what would yeah. you tell somebody that you've learned now that is the is scared about they're a planner like you right i don't yeah. i need 12 months and four spreadsheets <laughs> and five validations what are you telling that person now yeah um Go for let it. me just say first, let me just say first what I've learned from it is I, I think in a year I'm going to look back and I'm not going to be thankful for this horrible virus that's making so many people sick, but I'm going to be thankful that this horrible virus kind of stretched us and showed us what we're made of um, and showed us that we're capable of going after crazy things yep. that aren't necessarily perfect. Yeah. Um, and just going for it. So, I mean, when you're in a situation like this, like we don't, I mean, it's our family's livelihood. Like we don't have a choice. Like we need to figure out how to make this thing work for our business, for our community, for the trainers that we employ. Um, and I think, I mean, I think often there always are so solutions right the courage to do that is a personal journey and you had to overcome some personal obstacles to do it and you what you've just yeah. shared with me was well worth the conversation and i know it'd be well worth many people listening is you just got to figure it out right and and yeah. it's okay to try it's okay yeah. to try and you're going to be exactly. thankful you're not going to be thankful for the pain and and the conflict right and the right. thing but you're going to be thankful for the lessons that you've learned right. not only about your business but about yourself always okay. yeah well thanks thank you this is inspiring awesome. i know other people are going to enjoy it we're going to we're going to keep watching you because i know you're going to be keep doing great things but thanks for taking a few cool. minutes to talk to me today i appreciate it